Hi, I'm Caroline. And I'm Dolores, and we're the founders of Dakar Design. Welcome to our project in Dumbo. This is a new build, and we were tasked by the client to give it character and personality. We did this by adding various wall coverings, vintage rugs, and unique lighting. We're excited about the project and can't wait to show you around. We love giving a place a sense of entry. So we added a velvet bench where you can sit and put your shoes on, and we thought it was a perfect opportunity to add hand-painted Gracie wallpaper. When you look up and you feel like you're swimming with koi fish. We started the dining room off with this antique mirror. As a designer, sometimes you have to work with the existing bones of the space. And here there's a bump out because of the mechanicals inside the walls. We saw it as an opportunity and created a moment out of the alcove. Because this is a long loft-like apartment, one of the challenges was to bring light into the back of the space. And at the same time, we had to divide the space. And this mirror does both. To light this space, we added a globe chandelier in sconces. We like to create a sense of atmosphere by layering various lights. And because the family likes to entertain a lot, we created a custom wood table that seats 10 people. We contrasted the table with these chairs that we paired in two different fabrics. The front's a leather, and then the back has a linen fabric by Zach and Fox, which brings in a vintage feel. Because this is an open floor plan, we had to create a visual dialogue with the living room. So again in here, we decided to add bold wallpaper to ground the room. We printed a custom pattern on grass cloth, which gives it a more textured feel and picks up on the fabrics in the room. So we started with an oversized sofa that we covered in mohair to give it a little dressiness, but sofa's big enough that everyone can fit on it and sit by the fire. And speaking of fireplaces, there was nothing here, so we had to design and build it from scratch. We found this amazing striped marble for the mantle, and the veining of the marble picks up on the neutral colors of the room. And then we designed a ledge, because you can never have enough places to put things in New York. To finish off the space, we add this asymmetrical light fixture, which adds drama, but doesn't block the view to the garden. But there's a really great view of it from the master. This room has an amazing view, but this wall of glass made it feel like a hotel. Our job was to give it a warm and cozy feeling, while still maintaining its light and airy nature. We started with the wallpaper. We used the chinoiserie wallpaper to create a garden feel and echo the greenery outside. We weren't afraid to use a darker color because we have so much natural light. And these sculptural lamps, which are more modern, juxtapose nicely with the chinoiserie wallpaper. Because this is a modern space, we wanted to embrace it and have a little fun with it, including this fireplace, which we designed to have a contemporary feel. To take full advantage of this fireplace, we added this bench at the foot of the bed, which has this classic frame, but then we added this fun, whimsical fabric. And then we added this incredibly soft banana leaf rug. It's a popular misconception that you have to contrast your dark floors with a light rug, while here we layered them. This gives us a warm and cozy feel while adding texture to the room. And before we go, I'm just going to show you the view real quick. Brooklyn really does have the best views. It's hard to believe this was a white box when we started. But by adding fireplaces, fun wall covering, and lighting, we were able to turn into a home. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?